I'd like to go in and talk about slideshows for just a few minutes here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to import, I've got a series of images here, and these are photographs and video. So we're taking and we're importing those in. I have it set in my preferences so that whenever it takes and creates a new album, if there's video files in there, it'll actually import the video files right in there for me too. All right, you can see it's moving through everything along. One thing about ProSelect is we've actually improved the speed on everything over the last few versions. All right, well, this is our thumbnail view. Let's go to working with slideshows mode. All right, well, in my preferences, once again, I've actually set up a slideshow. I've set it up to actually go through and prep everything for me so that um, it prepares things for me. I've noticed the different uh, thumbnails up here on the timeline. This is the timeline when I'm in this working with slideshows mode, the last icon on the top right is the working with slideshows. And when I'm in this thumbnail view, um, it's showing green backgrounds mean that I've actually got uh, video, uh, blue backgrounds are uh, title slides, and the gray folder is my images. That's my maybe group of 87 images. I automatically have that set up. Well, I want to expand that maybe group, so I'm going to go to slideshow and I'm going to convert selected images to random. And what that does is that expands them. I can use a slideshow in either way, but I want to drop video segments in between. So now what happens is I can take and I can drop and drag images into different positions. The system randomized it, but I can take and as I'm moving these around, I can pull these into the different positions. All right, well, down in the lower area here, down in my resources area, I can set my content. Right now I'm showing all available content, but I want to go to just video. And so when I click on video here, we can take and we can show video content. Now the video content, we can actually edit it right in ProSelect. We can bring that in, we can make modifications and edits on it. Uh, but you can see what I can do is all I want to do to put a video segment in is just drag that up into my timeline, drop that in between my images. And when I do that, it's going to go through and it's actually putting it into the slideshow. All right, well, we've got different slideshow styles that we can set up here. And you set all these up yourself. There are various different ones. Notice how the, look on the thumbnail on the right and you can see the backgrounds changing there. I assign music and I assign a different settings like backgrounds, Ken Burns effects, different things there. And this is where I select it. This is where I set my slides for style. Then from here I can go ahead and I can set my music. Any of the songs with stars means it'll sync from beginning to end, but the one with the green stars is the one that's going to give me my best. I'm actually going to flip to a different song that maybe I like a little bit better. All right, now here's our video opening. A little countdown timer that was set in the preferences. We heard our little beep in that, and our music now and our title slides come in. Notice the background. See how we've got this beautiful floral background. There's our dynamic title slide. How we're able to take and just type a name in, and that title slide will appear. Notice how we've even got a logo actually anchored into the background. Our video gently fades in. Now in this particular style, I've got my video is actually running within a window. I can sometimes just have my by changing the style, I can have that video run as a full screen uh, mode in there. Here you can see the images are actually moving. We've added motion to it, and this is the Ken Burns effect here that's going on. And this is something, again, you know, the video and the Ken Burns effect. Those are all features that are available in ProSelect Pro, and they're activated by our style. We use these slideshow styles to create all of this. Now watch here is our still frame of the board, and then gently fades in, and all of a sudden we have our video comes in. Now we've got the video clips in here. But you can see when we combine all this with the music and everything, how everything is just... Um, so dynamic the way that it works. It, just, it comes together and it creates a really professional slideshow. And the nice thing about it is I don't have to upload it any place to render it. I don't have to render it ahead of time. Um, I can take and put together the whole show. Then actually um, when I'm done, um, the client decides to buy it. And then at that point I can do a full high definition render. All right, now that we've had a look at the slideshow, we can actually go ahead and we can render this out. Let me show you how we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Now, if I wanted to take and create it, I could duplicate this, change the style, do multiple versions. Very, very easy. Just use the same base, and I can actually go through and modify it um, as, as I want to. But I'm ready to go ahead and um, export it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our export menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Export here. So we're going to File, Export, and we're going to go to Slideshow Movie. Now this is where we've got various options. Now I'm working with Slideshow 2. That's the one that's active on uh, my screen right now. If I want to put a stamp on there, that means I could put a watermark on there. I could put a watermark over it if it was just something I'm going to upload to Facebook and I wanted to protect it. I can add starting and ending transitions on there. And I can also include a favorite stamp. That if I had favorites marked in those images, they would actually show up in there. I'm telling it my output folder, so it's going to go right into a subfolder automatically. In this case, I'm 
create two different versions of this file. We're going to do a Facebook uh, version and then a full HD 1080 video. All we have to do is go ahead and click export movie and the process begins. Now keep in mind this export process um, does take a little bit of little while to actually go through and, and render it, uh, but it uh, creates a beautiful file for you ready to go.